Hey guys, this is Jeff. I'm home and it is Friday evening. I'm surrounded by three lovely puppies. That's Lily. That's my buddy Jack Daniel. And Jack's sister Riley Jo. You can't really see her, but that's her little pretty little black and white face right there. And I just had this, uh, I just had uh, an inkling to come on because sometimes there's a message out there that um, that just needs to hit you with the right time. And so we're gonna share what that could possibly be for you, all right? So we're gonna draw a couple cards here. I got the Pagan Otherworlds deck. It's the most beautiful thing I've ever seen in my life. And as I pick up and shuffle, there's gonna be a card that's laying there. And we're gonna actually start with that. That's the card I didn't actually pick up. That's the King of Cups. This is about you guys. Oh my God, this is about you being the, I mean, the fire position of the king with the, with, the, with the water element of the cups. This is about whatever you happen to be waffling about right now. I mean, whatever that is, imagine what that is for you. Imagine what that waffling is for you right now. Perhaps it's your relationship, perhaps it's your job, perhaps it's your financial situation, perhaps it's your familial relationships with a particular member of your family. But that decision that you're thinking about now, right now, let's add some clarity on that. Let's add three cards beneath this because maybe this might hit you at the right time to add some clarity to whatever you're waffling about. Kind of like where we're headed to this already. We have the seven of coins, okay? We have that beautiful seven of coin. This is a wonderful message right now for you in regards to whatever you're waffling about because both situations are completely fine for you. They are supported by the universe for you, by the divine forces of, the, of, of nature. And what it's calling for is a, a, just a decision. You just have to just make a decision. This is one of those instances, whatever you happen to be considering, that it's not trying to find the right answer. You know, it's not, it's not looking for the right answer. It is making a decision and then making that be the right decision because it's like you have the entire universe, the entire everything that is unseen waiting for you to choose, do I wanna do this or do I wanna do this, as that King of Cups would say. And it says, both are fine, we're just at bay. If you can imagine your spiritual support team just sort of waiting to just say, this is what I declare, this is kind of what I am, this is where I wanna go. If just make a decision to allow the floodgates to open, to just be able to show you that whatever choice you happen to make, that that was the right decision because the next step will be shown to you. Clearly, a oh, fantastic reading, magnificent advice so far. Because if we were able to see the outcome of every step after every decision, then we would, there would be no growth needed. This spread right here, whatever's going through your mind right now, is all about building faith that whatever you choose will prove to be the right choice for you, all right? Whatever you choose will be proven to be the right choice for you. That's what that seven of coin is all about. The next step in is about, this is this magnificent card in this Pagan Otherworlds deck. It's called the Seeker. It's the infinity. This is the world beyond the world, beyond the 21st card, all right? I mean, it says right there, the infinity. In no other deck have I ever seen this. Let's find out what this bridge is and then we'll get back to this. This bridge is just make a decision and allow the universe to unfold for you to this fantastic brand new four of coin right here. This four of coin, what bridges it is the idea that you can make this leap of faith, which is actually exactly what is happening here. This is sort of like the fool card raised to the universal, oh my God, like a, like that, it's like a, it's like the fool card raised to like the universal aspect of its own essence. It's just so magnificent. This really points directly to you as being a creator. And what I love about it is that it's under the shade of the moon. And if we deal with the moon card and the traditional value of the cards, all moon has to do with working within your world under the fear of what has been known. This is about breaking into the unknown 
And this is exactly what's going on. I'm gonna show you the exact imagery of this. This is where you're coming from, this seven. The idea that everything is fine, everything is complete, everything is already known and comfortable, but there's something that needs to be chosen because the emphasis right under that king of cups, that fire of water, that balance, is leaping into this brand new thing. This is the most positive spread for a magnificent Friday night as it is right now. Because right now, before you make the decision to get into the known, or to get into the unknown, you can't possibly know that you are the one in charge of making the decision to what is going to then become the stability in your life. All right? How's that for a beautiful six minute reading? If there's anything that you're waffling over and you're waiting for the right, all the right answers to come out there before you so that you know what the right answer is, you're going about it the wrong way, all right? Allow the universe, allow God, allow the creator, allow your ascended master team, your guardian angels, allow all of your spirit guides to show you that after you make the choice, to get yourself out of what's familiar, but you want more, my God, that's whenever you truly begin to identify that you are this infinite, beautiful soul. I hope this helped you. It doesn't give direct answers, but that's the true purpose of this reading is that you can decide what the right answer is for you. And I hope this helped, guys. Enjoy your Friday. Get back to whatever you're doing, and I'll catch up with you guys later. Bye.